guys, Beth Brittati here with a look today for the Mad Style Cosmetics theme of the month, and that is Frozen Sweet Treats. Um, I went with an ice cream sandwich. I don't know why it wasn't the most obvious choice from the get-go, but here it is. Um, this is a very, very wearable look, very uh, neutral colors. I'm having a lot of fun with my neutral colors because I just got most of them in. So, I hope you guys like it, and um, you guys should do your favorite sweet treat, or frozen treat, and put it as a video response below. Let's get started. Okay, so so far all I have on is um, primer. This is really loud actually, wow. Um, I have on primer, it's Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which is apparently vegan, supposedly vegan, hopefully it actually is. Um, and then I am going to put on NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Um, and I actually found a dupe for black beans, so I just have to dupe this, which I'm sure can't be that hard, or I'm just gonna look into getting some paint pots. They're kind of pricey, so. Might as well use up what I have before I go dupe and stuff. Um, for those who are banning NYX and curious how that's going for me. When you're using something like this on your eyes, it's in your best interest to dab it on. Don't drag it across your eye because that tugs on your eye skin and it's super delicate. Okay, so we're just going to blend that out by patting it with your finger. Um, a lot of people recommend your ring finger, but I always feel really awkward using my ring finger, so I am using uh, my middle finger. And this is kind of also going to be Pigment 101 um, because I'm never going to remember to do that in a separate video. And I actually do this in every video. So um, so pigments, I highly recommend using a base and a primer. Um, sometimes you can combine those into one product. I actually have a product on its way to me that will hopefully help eliminate one of those steps because it will serve as both. But we'll see. I'll let you know once it actually gets here. So as you can see, I also put a base below the eye. I did prime below the eye as well earlier. Um, so just make sure you blend this out enough that you don't have too thick of a base. Um, but obviously the thicker your base, the brighter your colors, but then you run into creasing issues. Okay, so the first color we're gonna use is Thunder Snow. And it is a, um, it's an epic white. <laughs> it has um, gold and silver reflex in it. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it and I really don't want it to spill but it's beautiful. And we're gonna start off with just a flat shader brush and all my brushes are dirty right now so I'm using travel size brushes. But flat shader brush and you're just going to pat your brush into it. This is how you do this. You pat your brush in it, then you tap off the extra and I can't do it very well because I'm doing this up in the air. You see all that extra falling off? I don't know if you can or not. And then you take it and press it onto the base that you put down. And by pressing it, you get a lot less fallout. So between tapping it and pressing it, that's how you eliminate fallout. And I am going to speed up the rest of this part because I just talked a whole, whole lot. But this is going to go all the way up to the crease. And in my case, I have a hooded lid, so I will close, I will open my eye like this and see where it needs to go up to because of the hooded lid. Okay, so the next color we're going to use is the beautiful and deep and super rich Cocoa Puff. And this is how we're going to cut our crease. So you're going to grab a small angle definer brush. This is the um, Encore C409, the angle definer. And you're going to load up your brush. Again, you're dipping your brush in and then you're tapping it off, which I'm not going to try to do up in the air because I'm not going to get enough off and then I'll have a bunch of fallout. But can you hear that tapping? Oh, John just got to a new plan on his game. And then you're going to go ahead and start tracing out your crease. You're going to run out of, out of pigment. You just go back and dip in again and get more. I don't think those are even. That's a bummer. I made my crease too low on this side. And then you're going to start building off of it a little and creating your eye shape that you want. I think I had too much base on this outer corner because these shadows are sticking really bad and unevenly. So that means I didn't blend it out well enough. Or I have dry skin there. One of the two. It could be either. So once you're done building it out where you have enough to work with for blending, 
And this is a little wide here. I'm not very happy with that, but it's okay. Next, we're gonna grab Bon Bon Blitz. Using the same brush, you're gonna pick some of this up and start working out from there with the Bon Bon Blitz. No, not with this brush, sorry. Not with this brush at all. With a very small fluffy brush. So you don't want a full size fluffy brush, you want something small. You're just gonna grab your Bon Bon Blitz, tap off your extra, and start building off of the Cocoa Puff. And this isn't gonna go on as dark as you want right away, you're gonna have to build it up. Again, you're just pressing on the pigment, and then with this you'll blend after you've pressed on a decent amount. I almost dipped into the wrong pot. Okay, so once you have it where you have enough to start blending with, and windshield wiper motions where those two colors come together, Yeah, my uh, crease isn't quite even. Oh well. After that, you're gonna take the same, no you're not, you're gonna take a fluffy blending brush, and this is the C433 Pro Blending Fluff. Um, I believe it's similar to the 219 or 227 maybe, I don't remember which one it is. And then we're gonna take Tweaker, or not Tweaker, sorry, X-Ray Specs. You know, my color's mixed up. And uh, we're gonna dip the brush into this and then Definitely tap off your excess. It's a really big deal when you're blending. because You don't want too much of any color or you're gonna ruin everything. All right, so you just start putting that above where you just put in the um, Bon Bon Blitz. And then again, windshield wiper motions back and forth to help blend it. So let's say you over blend it. Um, if you over blend it, just go back through a little bit with the color that you over blended and blend it back out again a little bit darker and it's really easy to fix. Okay, so that's done. So we're also going to take that small blending brush again and you're going to start off with Bon Bon Blitz which was the lighter brown of the two and we're going to create liner or layered liner or like double liner is what some people call it. So you're going to start off with the Bon Bon Blitz, putting this below your eye. Again, you're pressing it on and then you're swiping, otherwise you're going to get a bunch of fallout. And this is going to go and connect up to the outer corner of that cut crease. Okay, then you're gonna take the same brush and you're gonna pick up some Cocoa, cocoa Puff. <laughs> and you're gonna make sure you tap it out really well. This is really important. And you're gonna start pushing this right into the lash line. That's why we're using such a small angled brush. Cause you're wanting to keep this as close to the lash line as possible. Okay, now something else you're gonna do with that. You're gonna take a medium brown, medium to dark brown um, eyeliner. And I have mine sitting out, but I'm an idiot. You're going to do two things with this. Well, I'm gonna draw my eyebrows and then top them with uh, Cocoa Puff, which you don't have to do. Um, but you're also going to line your lower waterline. And that's also going to get topped with Cocoa Puff. So again, with your tiny angled brush, you're taking Cocoa Puff, make sure you tap off the excess because it doesn't really hurt to get pigment in your eye, but it's not comfortable. Okay, so you have something like that now. And then I'm gonna do my eyebrows and come right back. So now we're just gonna do mascara. So we're just gonna curl our lashes. All right, and I am using the Alma One Coat Nourishing Mascara uh, Lengthening, and this is in, um, it's a brown color, dark brown. I'm going with the whole browns for this. Okay, 
Then for a super bowl look, wearable look, lip look, you could just go with um, like your favorite nude or brown color since browns were a kind of a big hit last fall. But I instead am going to use Thunder Snow. And to do this, I'm going to grab a lip brush. And I don't know if you guys just saw that, but I put on my uh, lip balm. I think it's in Chinomite. Um, and then I'm just going to grab my lip brush and press the Thunder Snow onto my lips. All right, so you end up with something a little bit like that. Um, you could even top it with a gloss as well. Um, and if you wanted your lips to be a lot more white to begin with, uh, you could just go over it with a white lip liner, or a white eyeliner, rather. Um, which, why not for fun?